My name is Sarah Santos. I am originally from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, uh, and I moved to Canada four years ago and I live in Pictou County. With whom? I live here with my husband, um, our dog who moved from Brazil with us, and we have a two-year-old son who was born here. Life in Rio was very busy. Uh, it's a big city. I had a very stressful job. We wanted to have the experience of living in a little town, smaller community, easier commute. Um, and that's why we decided to move here to Canada and, and live in a, in a small community like Victor County. It took almost two years, uh, but at the end we, we got the visa and I, honestly I think this was the best decision we could have made at the time because we moved here already with something a little bit more stable. Um, so yeah, it was a big process and selling our house in Brazil, you know, getting rid of everything, you know, making our life fit in six uh, suitcases and just leave family and friends behind. But at, at the end, I think it was, it was a good decision. We don't regret it. 2019 uh, and the pandemic hit just a few months uh, after that so we couldn't go anywhere um, and we had to just you know adjust to staying here and staying away from our family um, like we couldn't see anyone uh, so that that was a little difficult uh, but most of all I got pregnant in the middle of the pandemic uh, so that was a big adjustment uh, just going through pregnancy um, without having you know my family being able to come over was a bit hard uh, we got a lot of support we have made, i've made amazing friends here in the community um, so that was the good side of it uh, we are in a, a space here a location where we have uh, a big big sense of community and um, that was the good thing we felt very welcome since day one People were very curious about us, uh, like why these people moved from Brazil, a warm country, so beautiful, and came to Nova Scotia, came to Pictou County. That's a big change. Um, just got that feeling here that people were um, curious about us, like why are these people from Brazil in Pictou County? Uh, as I said before, there were no, not a, too many Brazilians in the, in the area, uh, but they were also very welcome. So our neighbors were amazing, always you know, supporting us and wanting to know how we're doing and are we adjusting and everything. And like all the friends that I made throughout the different jobs that I had, since I moved here, they all have been very supportive. I think that that is what makes the biggest difference. What would have made it easier for me? That's a good question. Um, I think like f we struggle financially in the beginning and that's for sure because um, we, we, we spend a lot of money when we just ke come here. Like you have to buy a car, you have to buy winter tires, winter clothes. Uh, you have to spend money uh, heating your house. Uh, so, you know, making sure that we had the means to get to the end of the month without struggling for me was a big like source of stress. I wanted to make sure that we were not you know, draining our finances and not getting anywhere. Um, and um, I think like at the end we just got adapted and like I had my baby at the hospital here and it was a, an amazing experience uh, and we have a lot of support right now. So I guess it was just a matter of time and getting adjusted. Um, where is home for me? Um, home for me uh, is definitely Peak to County, Nova Scotia now, uh, but Brazil will always, you know, be in my heart forever. So I guess I have two homes now. And how long do you plan to stay? Forever. 